Hi students, this is Mrs. Munoz, and I will be reading to you today Fraction Action by Laureen Leedy. This should help you with some of your, your fraction work. There's the table of contents where if you were reading the book on your own, you could find different work. The answers on page 32 are going to be all the answers for the various problems that you're solving. So as you're watching this video, pause to solve the problems and then save your answers to check them once we get to page 32. Fraction action. One morning, Ms. Prime turned off all the lights in the classroom. Okay, everybody, watch the screen and you'll see how to draw a fraction. Start with a, a whole shape. Then make it into two equal parts. Each part is called one half. Now let's think of some fractions in real life. Use your imagination to make a picture in your mind of what I say. A tuna sandwich cut in half. Half a glass of juice. A bowl of ice cream that is half vanilla and half chocolate. I'm getting hungry. It's time for you to tell me about some halves. What can you imagine, Otto? I'm thinking of a warm muffin cut in half. Good. Next, we will hear ideas from Tally, Ginger, and Faye. My piggy bank is half full. Half my garden has flowers and the other half has vegetables. Maybe the cow jumped over half a moon. Terrific. Now let's look at another fraction, one third. Here's the whole shape. I'll make three equal parts. Each part is called one third. Here are some other shapes made into thirds. Who can imagine some thirds? What about you, Sadie? A big beach towel with three big stripes. Fantastic, anyone else? I'm imagining a cookie broken into three pieces, a flower with three petals, my wallet has three sections, a jester's hat. Great, I have one more fraction today, one fourth. Start with the whole shape, make four equal parts. Each part is called one fourth. These are more shapes made into fourths. Let's imagine some fourths. A hot dog cut into four pieces. A dollar bill folded into fourths. A cracker with four sections. A four leaf clover. A pie cut into four slices. Those are excellent ideas. We're out of time for now, but here's one more question. Which fraction is the smallest? One half, one third, one fourth. The answer is on page 32. Go ahead and write your answer down to that question, and when we get to page 32, you can check your answer. Which fraction is the smallest? One half, one third, or one fourth? Get ready, get set. A few days later, Miss Prime turned out the lights again. Today we will learn how to make whole sets into fractions. Please look at the screen. We are a set of two triangles. I am half of the set. I am the other half. We are a set of three triangles. I am a third of the set. We are a set of four squares. I am a fourth of the set. We are a set of five circles. I am a fifth of the set. Now class, here is a set of marbles. I'll give, you, I'll give them to you for keeps if you can figure out how to divide them equally. You'd better get started. Since there are five of us, let's try to divide the set of marbles into fifths. Maybe we could group them by color. Sadie gets blue, Faye gets yellow, I get red, Otto gets purple, and Tally gets green. Wait, the piles have to be equal. Let me try a different way. I'll give everybody a handful.
the piles are still not equal. I know what to do. I'll count them out like this. One marble for Ginger, one for Sadie, one for me, one for Otto, and one for Faye. Keep going until all the marbles are gone. Does everyone have the same number of marbles? I have six marbles. I have six marbles too. Me too, me too, me too. That means we each have exactly one fifth. Congratulations, you found a way to divide the marbles equally, so you get to keep them. Time for recess. Let's go. How many marbles were in the whole set? That's another question that you can see your answer on page 32. How many marbles were in the whole set? A fair share. One Saturday at about noon, Sadie heard a loud knock at the door. Hello, Sadie, is this a good time for us to drop in? I was just fixing lunch. Wonderful, we'll help. Let's start with a whole apple for everyone. Let's also have oranges. Oops, I can only find two, not enough for all four of us. You can cut them in half. Good, that will give us four halves. What about this watermelon? If you cut it into fours, everyone will get an equal share. Let's eat. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, Sadie. I hope this is a good time for a visit. Well, we only have enough to feed four of us. What should we do? Just give me that fruit. I'll be right back. Hi, Ms. Bovine. Chop, 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 chop. Fruit salad for everyone. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. What fractions were used to make lunch? Hint, there were three different fractions. Check back through the video and write down all the fractions that were used to make lunch. See page 32 for the answers. So keep track of your answers for when we get to page 32. Lemonade for sale. Step right up for the best lemonade in town. Tally, it's the middle of winter. So? So nobody's going to buy lemonade in this cold? Hmm, maybe I should lower the price a little. I'll subtract one fourth, which is 25 cents. One dollar minus 25 cents is 75 cents. Hey Ginger, do you want a nice cold glass of lemonade? You must be nuts. Maybe it's still too expensive. I'll subtract half of a dollar, which is 50 cents. One dollar minus 50 cents equals 50 cents. Hello, Miss Prime. My lemonade is half price today. No thank you, Tally. I'll have to make it even cheaper. I'll subtract three fourths, which is 75 cents. One dollar minus 75 cents leaves a price of 25 cents. Boy, now I'm getting thirsty. Oh no, the lemonade is frozen, now what? Lemon ice pops for sale. Come and get your fresh lemon ice pops. I'll take one, please. Tally subtracted three fourths from the original price. If he subtracted another fourth, how much would he charge? Think about how much he would charge and save your answer for when we are on page 32. Teacher's test. Miss Prime tapped her desk with a ruler. Attention everyone, today we're having a test on fractions. Oh no, oh! The test will be a little different because you will give me the problems to solve. We will. If I say the right answer, I get one point. If I say the wrong answer and you catch me, the class gets a point. Who wants to start? Okay, Miss Prime, draw a circle and divide it into force. There. That's wrong because the parts of a fraction have to be equal. One point for us. Which is greater, one fourth or one third? One third is greater than one fourth. She's right, give her a point. Which fraction of a candy bar would be smallest? Two fourths or one half? Hmm, one half. That's wrong because two fourths and one half are equal. 
What fraction of the set of girl students am I? There are three girls, so you are one third. Right, Miss Prime. What fraction of the circle is colored blue? Two fifths. Right again. What fractions of what fraction of the shape is purple? One fifth. No, there are six parts, so one sixth is purple. That's the bell. The test is over. We only got half the points. We got half the points, and you got half the points. It's a tie. What fraction of Miss Prime students is ginger? And the answer is on the next page because the next page is page 32. What fraction of Miss Prime students is ginger? Ready to check your answers? Here we go. On page 10, the smallest fraction is one fourth. On page 15, there were 30 marbles in the whole set. On page 31, the fractions were used to make lunch were one half to slice the oranges, one fourth to cut the watermelon, one fifth to divide the fruit salad. On page 27, if Tally subtracted another one fourth from the original price, he would be charging zero. Page 31, Ginger is one fifth of the set of Miss Prime's students. The end. I hope you enjoyed this fraction book and it was a fun way for you to practice with your fractions. Have a great day.